We love when guests love to come back and update us on what they're doing. And today we have Patty Terrell from the Women's Journey Foundation back to tell us about a new program that you guys are doing with young women and training the next generation of young women and mothers. And it's so exciting. Patty, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me back. Oh, we're thrilled. Yes, we're yes. thrilled. And we love what you're doing, all the work with the Women's Journey Foundation. Tell us about the ICANN program for girls. Yes, this conference is on October 12th uh, this year. And it's to um, it's in alignment with the Inter International Day of, for the Girl. Mm -hmm. uh, the United Nations put this together. They established this to empower girls, but also help them believe that they, they can do anything they set their minds to. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's why our conference is in alignment with the International Day of Girls. In fact, it's the next day. And so our conference is I can be, do, have anything. I love that. I love the message that you're saying, you know, don't put limits on yourself. Mm -hmm. That's right. I remember talking to my daughter and uh, she said to me, I said, well, what do you want to be when you grow up? And she's like, well, I want to be a doctor, but somebody told me that a nurse would be more practical for me. And I got so angry. I can only imagine your reaction. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you do whatever you want. That's you right, are huh? so smart. You can do anything you want. Yes. And that was a few years ago, and she's really taken it to heart. And I just have to go Good for, for one her. second. Go. She got a 36 on her ACT <gasps> this week. Whoa. Wow. Yes. Yes. Go. Yes. Yes. Girl yes. can yes. do anything. Yes. yes. So, I was so, so great. I was so, I mean, obviously that that was not me. It was my daughter. <laughs> but <laughs> direct so, extension. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Uh, no, but I'm so proud that she is taking that to heart and she's not letting things Good stand her. in her way. And I think right. that I I'm so like on board with this message. Yeah, and and the reason why we feel so passionate about and we've been doing this for 13 years. This will be our mm -hmm. 13th annual. Because um, over 70% of girls have low self-esteem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the suicide rate, unfortunately, has gone up significantly in girls 10 to 14 years of age. That's really? so crazy. Right, oh. right. So our program, we give them practical tools to help them discover what their strengths and talents are. But not only that, we help them to recognize it in other girls. Mm -hmm. So it's a very supportive program. And, and then we uh, involve women because women make the best mentors mm -hmm, to these girls. Yeah. And it could be women who are older, like grandmothers, mm -hmm. uh, or retired women, or young women, moms. We encourage them to come to the conference and, and help us with these girls because mm -hmm. there's hundreds of them. Mm -hmm. So we always need the volunteers, of course, but they're there to support and to nurture like women know how to do that best, oh, right? Oh, that is so great. <laughs> it so, is that's great. That's such a great program. And yeah. you know that Amy has four daughters, right? Yeah, I be totally experience for you. So as you're talking, I'm like, how am I doing it mentoring my daughters? Well, I don't right. know, but I think that's such a like I'm totally resonating with your message. So tell me a little bit more about like the suicide rate going up. It, why are yeah. why is this happening? Well, why? I think a lot of it might have to do with the fact that uh, there's less and less communication like what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. um, kids are doing a lot of this. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Um, plus there is the body image thing that always comes into mm -hmm. play. Uh, when th what they're seeing on television or in magazines may not be realistic mm -hmm. for them. That's right. So, um, so there's bulimia and there's anorexia. And if they don't have someone to talk to like this to help them understand and work through it, mm -hmm. right. then their only alternative is going inside, isn't it? Right, That's right. right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, one of our workshops, we delve into that mm -hmm. and we help the girls accept who they are as they are, and every girl's beautiful in their own mm -hmm. way. So you Absolutely. think that that is just really a not an, they can't accept who they are and they reject they, in the ultimate right. form. And it could be yeah. something someone might have said to them, mm -hmm. or it could be their, the way they were brought up. You know, maybe um, they were brought up by a single mom, for instance, mm -hmm. that didn't have time to do the whole, you know, working through that piece. Right. Mm. So, um, so that's why a program like this is so vitally important. And we've seen some major transitions happen in just one afternoon. Mm. It's amazing. And sometimes these girls will show up really apprehensive and shy, and then you can start to see the shift happening. Mm. And then there's other girls who are pretty hard to reach because um, we work with a lot of foster care mm -hmm. kids, mm -hmm. girls from uh, CASA, and about 32 different nonprofits that bring girls in for this spe mm. specific program. Mm -hmm. um, so what we do is we have different things that will appeal to different girls. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have dancing, we'll have um, music, we'll have art, we'll have writing mm -hmm. exercises, and then we'll bring in guest speakers who are considered role models to talk to the girls about 
what they had to overcome when they were girls. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a lot of fun. That's really it's great. It's a lot of fun. So how can we help as, you know, as people in Laguna Woods and in Orange County, what can we do to right. help support? Yeah, well, we have, like I said, probably about 400 girls showing up this year. So we need a lot of women that will come in and work with the girls, especially the shy ones, um, to to work with them and have a conversation with them. Now, this is going to sound kind of funny, but it really does work. We have a puppy pen. Okay. Oh so my gosh. Right. What could be better than a puppy? Uh, right. You will find me at the puppy <laughs> pen. If a girl wants to talk to me, she can come to the there puppy go, pen right? and we have a conversation. I'm so in. Yeah, so we'll I'm find so the really in. shy girls and we'll bring them into the puppy pen. I'm telling you, five minutes into it. You know, and they've uh, got a new friend. Yeah, they have a new right. friend, right. That's amazing. Yeah, and then we'll bring in a veterinarian who's a woman, too, to talk about a career as mm -hmm. a veterinarian. You know, and then we'll bring in maybe a, f a woman who is a fire chief to talk about her career. But they always talk about, too, what they were challenged with when they were a young girl. So we mm -hmm. think that's important for those girls to hear that it wasn't easy for them either. Mm -hmm. so. I think that is really helpful to tell those stories about yeah. how people are overcoming challenges because life is hard. Right. All the time. Right. All the it time. Is. Yeah. It's all, it is it really is. hard. And they're too young to know and what's going on with cyber bullying and social that's media yes. bullying bullying that mm -hmm. it's it, the horrible shame is that they're afraid to share it they yeah. think for some reason it's their fault yeah. right and until you can give them a different environment right they won't know better That's yeah right. which is what to your point about you don't know how well you're mentoring your daughters mm -hmm. all I can think of is that every young girl who shows up there would be so lucky to have you as their no, mom I don't know. and no. they don't have <laughs> they don't have that I mean yeah, I yeah. know I know for sure that um, I've mentored over the years and I continue to and just love it mm -hmm. but but people like you for example like who come to my daughter's baptism and Ooh. like make her day and she she's a mentor to my children oh, so lovely. you know we can all contribute we all in do. so many ways yeah. we absolutely yeah. do no I'm not saying yeah. I'm not good at it I was you're just reinforcing that oh, you're you. really good at it feel better. <laughs> <laughs> but but to going back to even the first event where we met, when I emceed the fashion show the fashion of show. role models as opposed mm -hmm. to runway models, right. mm -hmm. and these were all super successful professional women yes. who were real bodies, mm -hmm. real women, wearing real clothes. Mm -hmm. It was such a, a perfect example to mm -hmm. these young girls. Yeah. So loving, yeah. I just mm -hmm. love to see all the expansion that yeah, you guys it's, go through. It's growing yes. and, and now we've uh, also, other than just the once a year program, we also have a mobile self-esteem program. So we'll go into low income areas and work with the girls that are in those mm. areas as well. So, that's so what can yeah. we do if we want to sign up to volunteer either in a mobile area or yeah. at, at the conference? Yeah, uh, go to our website at womensjourneyfoundation.org. There is a form, is a contact form on there and just put I'd like to volunteer and then we'll contact you. Okay. And yeah. the other thing I know you're looking for is sponsorships. Sponsors, thank yeah, you for that. Talk yes. about that. Yeah, it's fifty dollars to send a girl to the conference, and mm -hmm. that includes her meal, includes all the activities and speakers, and then we also give the girls free gifts. Uh, um, swag. So, got yeah, swag. swag. Exactly. Got <laughs> swag. Lip gloss, hair That's ornaments. Right. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So yeah, it is fifty dollars per girl, and if they can sponsor or take on one girl, that really helps us tremendously. That's amazing. Yeah. And it, all that information is on the website as well. Yes. As well. Okay. So Absolutely. we'll put that on the screen for sure, and yeah. our viewers will be able to follow up with you. Patty, thank, thank you. you so much thank for you coming both. in and sharing. Thank you for being here. We're very Wonderful. excited. No, we, I think you. we know a handful of young girls and I'm already and I'm telling you, yeah. puppy pen, baby. Yeah. You got me puppy a puppy pen. pen. <laughs> Come and do the puppy pen with us. I'm there. <laughs> and we'll be right back. <laughs>